Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Now you have prayed. It's my turn to pray for you now. It will be a very quick walk, but I want your heart to be open. Please, when it's time to bring the people out, whether you are an usher or not, just help them very quickly because we need to do this very fast. Fire is burning in this place. I want to pray. I want you to believe this. The first thing I'm hearing is to deliver those appointed unto death. There are families here you may be walking, but Satan is already programming something. I'm about to pray. The fire of God is going to fall on those individuals representing their families. Very quickly, I want you to bring them out here. Father, in the name of Jesus, any family here having an altar or a foundation that wants to tie down their life, tie down their relevance, tie down their longevity, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, as you count Jesus at the shout of three, in the name of Jesus, it must give way. Are you ready, my God? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Bring them out. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Deliverance number two, there are families under an unusual yoke of hardship. That yoke is about to be broken, hear me? Hardship, no matter what you do, it is father suffering, mother suffering. I'm about to pray, fire is falling now. Everyone under the sound of my voice, everyone under the sound of my voice, under this yoke, at the count of three, wherever you are, inside and outside, following from any nation of the world, let that anointing rest and bring deliverance for you. Are you ready to shout Jesus? One, two, three, shout Jesus. That yoke be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I'm seeing the number 11 fire is coming on their hands and the Lord is telling me the spirit that has tied down your productivity is about to give way 11 people bring them out right now I decree and declare I don't know where you are 11 of you let that fire come upon your hand right now Bring them out. Let it come upon your hand right now. Now I want to pray a very serious prayer. Please bring them out quickly. I want to pray a very serious prayer. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged. If you don't believe this, you are joking. You are joking if you don't believe this that destinies can be exchanged. 
that you find yourself living another man's life you know that this is not my life no everything that has exchanged your destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead my God I'm seeing the anointing coming on people already there is a rearrangement that is happening in the realm of the spirit rearrangement of families the Bible says that the least shall be the greatest right now every destiny that has been exchanged be restored now 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 hallelujah listen I hope you know that infirmity is a spirit infirmity is beyond a medical condition I'm going to pray right now there are people who are sick drugs can solve their problems based on the law of times and seasons but there are people who have come under the influence of the spirit of infirmity when the spirit of infirmity is upon you headache can keep you down and nothing else will be able to help you except the power of God there are families like that every month you must fall sick every time you must fall sick Malika Ashapa Karozia Tabanda Sofra Haskia Krede Beketo Shala Grete Feskine Malaj Before I minister to the sick, I must minister deliverance to those who have been bound by that spirit. Who is Rachel? Rachel, I'm hearing a name, Rachel. Rachel. Rachel Rachel I don't know if I'm seeing in my vision I'm seeing someone maybe you are outside or any of the overflows I'm seeing that you came with a I'm seeing a crutch I just saw a crutch lifted up. That's what I saw in the spirit. Wherever that person is, lift it up and begin to walk. Whether you are... Make sure you don't... Please. Who brought that? Are you the one? You could not walk. Walk. No, if you, if you can't... Listen. Don't force him. If he tries to move and it's not, just keep praying for him there. But you check yourself, test yourself. The moment you can, make your way to the front. Don't, don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Rachel. Kai. I'm seeing one of you tied and all I'm seeing is snakes from head to toe. Right now I'm praying. Every altar, I don't, I don't care where it is coming from. Right now at the count of three, may that fire rest upon you and set you free right now. One, two, three, be free from this demonic thing. Right now, be free from it now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be free from it now. Be free from it now. Hallelujah. Now, I may not ask you to come out so that you are not embarrassed, but I'm going to pray for you. I don't know if we have the time to take testimonies, but if we, we don't, no problem the next time. But this is somebody, you have HIV. Listen carefully. Your HIV was not just sleeping around and all of that. I've seen this happen many times, so I can tell you, it's not everybody that has HIV that got it from wrong living. There are wicked spirits. This one, you just had a dream, and it's like you started emaciating, something started happening to you. I don't know who that person is. But right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord God of heaven is bringing you life now. Life to your body. Who is Antony? Antony. Antony. Is that your name, sir? Antony. God is about to turn your life around, my friend. Antony.
Who is from Kogi State? Kogi State? Yeah. You are not the only one now, just indicate and from Kogi State. I'm not saying you are from, there are many people there, I mean among the Antonis. Who is from Kogi State? I will pray for the rest. A very strong fire, the power of God is coming on one of you right now. Before I even just speak prophetically, I just saw that light come on one of you. And the Lord is saying it has come to an end. You know that song that, 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 that was our, our song that, that Toke Sad sang, that it is over. It is by the Spirit. Right now, that power of the Most High is coming on that one person. And it is his liberty that God is bringing you. Receive it right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let an end come to this demonic oppression. You are from Kogi State, my friend. You are coming from there? No, I'm in Abuja, yeah. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that has tied you down and tied your family. There is a lady that the Lord is bringing a supernatural miracle to your family. You are from Ondo State. Ondo State. This is what... You are from Ondo State. God is bringing between now and the end of November. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. Ondo State, between now and the end of November. What God will do in your life will surprise you. The person I am seeing, the angel of the Lord is telling me to look left. That the person is on this balcony. The person that I'm talking about from Ondo State. You are wearing like red something like red i don't know whether the person is be careful be careful don't fight my friend don't fight them that's wrong you are in the house of god you want to receive from god and you are fighting these are some of the things that block block miracles how do you fight and you, who is the person i'm talking about huh Am I wasting your time? Where is, I'm seeing some people who came from Zamfara for this miracle service. You came from Zamfara. There is one of them that I want to speak. You are a lady. You are a fair lady. You came from Zamfara. I don't, oh dear. We have to hurry up and, is there someone like that? Please verify. Because I know some people, no matter what we say, you will still come out. Be obedient. This is the house of God. Let's abide by instructions so that we can make progress. You don't have to come out. Once it's, if the word is not for you, just be patient and wait in faith. Where is the lady from Ondo State? All of you, that's all right. I'm going to pray for you. I stretch my hands right now. I just saw light leaving my hand and coming on one of you. And the Lord is saying, that song, Yakari, the Lord is saying is coming to an end. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare over right now. Over right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Over right now. Help them please. Let it be over by the spirit of grace. By the spirit of grace. By the spirit of grace. Spirit of grace. My friend. This man wearing green or is it lime? What do you do? Huh? I'm a government consultant. You are a... I consult for government. I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the realm of the spirit. And every time I see someone climbing a ladder, that is a level of lifting that God is bringing. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I, I hope you believe this. In Jesus' name, may it happen for you as God has declared. Is there a Yoruba name like Mone? Is it Mor Mone Morenike? 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 Who is that? I just heard the name Morenike. Because God is about to bring a very strange visitation to that family. Morenike, this is what I'm hearing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Obina from Imo State. Obina from Imo State. If there is a gentleman like that, Obina, you are from Imo State. Is there someone like that? Come. 
your time has come. Please, let's, let me have your attention so that we'll finish. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Gentlemen, all of you who have come out here, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every embargo sitting on your destiny, it must give way right now. Yeah. Hallelujah. May God bless you. Return to your seat. Where is the gentleman? I need to pray for you very quickly. You are from Imo State. What's your name? Obina. Obina. Where's your family? I want to pray for you. Truly, let me tell you, this God you see, Ba, he can lift men. Except he has not come to you. He will lift you in a way that surprises you. Father, I pray for this gentleman and I decree and declare. You called him out by prophecy. May the Lord sort your life supernaturally. And that of your family. In the name of Jesus. Everything that represents reproach in this family, I command that it gives way right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady and a guy, two of them will shout under the anointing now. Please bring them out. A lady and a guy. The gentleman will even be surprised. Because usually, you know, gentlemen are macho, none of my business with embarrassment. But the power of God... <laughs> a gentleman and and a lady most of you really do not know the power of God's word that is the same way when God speaks Dunsin said everything obeys that when God shows up everything adjusts it's true it's not a song. If it is the God of the Bible, if he looks at you and commands the gates of your destiny to be opened, it is open. Like he's saying through me now, the gates of your destiny are fatter. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um... It is your name. It's not like it's a position, a legal position. Your name is Justice. 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 I just had that name. If the person is here, very quickly, because we want to pray for the sick right now. There are many people carrying all kinds of demonic sicknesses. And those sicknesses must leave. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, when you find a gentleman called Justice, do you know what I just saw in my vision? I just saw fire burning and I saw the names of people in a particular family written on it. Like it is burning, but it's not burning the names. But the names are inside that fire. I don't know who this is, but let me speak over someone. Anyone who has programmed witchcraft against you and your loved ones. God just opened my eyes. I saw names like in a paper, but it was not burning. And yet fire is burning on it. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm saying it again. Whoever programmed witchcraft against you this night, it returns back to that devil. He returns back to that devil. Yeah. Hallelujah. The morning, the morning that Dunsin had an accident, and we thank God for preserving such a precious gift to the body of Christ. You know that morning, we were together with him talking about the revivals and the moves of God, fathers of faith and the mighty things. And we're going to have a morning session, you know, powerful time of worship. And I thought we hugged and greeted one another and he was on his way. Heading for the morning session in another meeting, they just reached me and said, this is what has happened. Let me tell you the truth. 
we are in the days where you must know what is the basis of your stand are we together now everything you can put together as an advantage spiritual intelligence prophetic covering everything must be put together to sustain you at these evil times when i saw the car and to know that he came out like this it is a miracle and a testimony <laughs> hallelujah he was headed to ibadan to go and minister for baba wale okay you see i was going to go for that i think i was it before or after i don't know which of them and then this happened the devil is restless because he knows that the times are close and let me tell you he's not looking for everybody the fact that he's on the case of your family he should tell you he has seen something there because the bible says the thief cometh not but for to steal there are many of you there was peace in your life peace in your marriage peace in everything but suddenly the devil is coming now do you know what don't think he's looking for your wife or your husband that's none of his business he's looking for that in you that can support God's end time program that's it there are some of you your business was doing well when you started giving for the Lord's work the devil said no I don't have a problem with you prospering provided the kingdom does not benefit from it but now I see that with your money you gave someone scholarship you helped somebody uh -uh, this one we are going to have to and you will try to attack you not every attack is a result of prayerlessness or unseriousness there are things that are indications that you have become a source of frustration to the devil that means how you know that somebody does not know what to do with you again hallelujah the Lord is opening my eyes I will pray this last one then I'll pray for the sick I'm looking and I'm seeing a like a graveyard you know a symmetry I meant to say that's what the Lord is opening my eyes to see and then I'm seeing somebody wake up from a dream this is is like this is what the spirit of death you keep sleeping and you see people who have long gone we're not talking of the spirits of just men made perfect we are talking of similitude of demon spirits using even faces of people that you used to know the living and the dead have nothing in common at the resurrection will be joined together for those who are in Christ that's what the Bible says but for now a gulf has been created that separates us so every spirit of the grave that has been calling anyone in the name of Jesus using dreams using prophetic experiences for some of you the devil is planning that you will not see December 31st that it is this year everything will end up with you in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead we decree and declare death has no power over you death has no power over you hallelujah now lay your hands I want to pray for the sick many people came here because you have heard that Jesus heals sadly we have to work with time I'm not sure we may even have the time to take testimonies because we still have to pray over our requests but I want you to lay your hands it is true that Jesus heals no distraction please lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you can touch make contact with it some of you are standing in for your children, your loved ones. Don't let the devil destroy them. Lay your hands. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. For I'm seeing people holding photos of people, holding phones. I'm sure others are connecting from across the globe. There are many, many people who connect from hospitals with their loved ones, some in ICU, some at emergency rooms. Now is the time to pray. You are my hiding place You always fill my heart With songs of deliverance Whenever I am afraid I will trust in you I will trust in you 
Let the weak say I am strong in the strength You sent your word and it healed my disease You are the Lord my healer. I want to pray. I am a product of the healing power of Jesus myself. I know that he heals. If you ever doubt that Jesus performs miracles, look at a living miracle standing before you. I know he heals. I'm about to pray now. This is one of the graces and the privileges God has given us as a ministry. To bring as a gift to the body of Christ and across the nations of the earth. Those outside, all the overflows, now is your time to receive. He's a healing Jesus. As I pray for you, I want you to shout a loud amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is telling me about someone. You quietly met a doctor and the doctor told you that something is growing in your body. You have not shared this with anybody but that you need to pray. You are a man. He told you you are beginning to have symptoms of prostrate because you went because of some abnormalities you, are, you began to see in your body and you went to meet the doctor and just on telling him, he could almost say but he did some preliminary test, a test and he came to the conclusion that you are beginning to have the symptoms of an enlarged prostrate. You have not shared this with people. I want you to believe Jesus is about to heal. Every spirit that is back of any infirmity here represented in this auditorium over the life of your precious loved ones over the life of our global family and as many who are connecting right now across the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, in this atmosphere of intense worship and faith, I'm declaring to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead that the spirit that is back of this, we command judgment on that spirit now. And I decree and declare, my God, I'm seeing fire enter the chest of people like literally entering inside I decree and declare be healed now be healed now outside I decree and declare lift your hands the overflow outside by the power that raised Christ from the dead we see you from here be healed now All other overflows in the name of Jesus, the Lord is with you right there. But I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, migraine headaches be healed. Amen. HIV be healed. Amen. Prostrate be healed. Amen. There is a lady, you have a disease. This is something that is common with women. And it has become an embarrassment to you many many times in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing you right now Amen. the Lord is touching someone's right ear be healed right now Amen. I'm seeing someone you can walk but you are already beginning to have severe joint pains almost everywhere you know like it happens to a sickler in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Amen. Every dead or dying kidney jacks back to life now. Amen. For someone having a failed liver, God gives you brand new liver now. Amen. I command eyes that are blind partially or totally to be opened now. Amen. Bones
own conditions be healed now. The Lord is showing me a vision that is quite embarrassing. I'm seeing someone, you're going to ease yourself in the toilet and what is coming out is not just stool that you are passing. This is something related to pile. It's almost like, you know, it, there are projections from within you coming out that you have to push back. I'm sorry for sounding graphic, but this is what the Lord is showing me. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus, I declare that pile it dies now. I'm sorry to say it and don't feel embarrassed, but I'm seeing at least, it is not less than 17 ladies here having multiple lumps. Multiple lumps. Are, I don't know what is this thing that the devil is doing in this end time with women that is just plaguing them with lumps and growths. Our dear sisters, we are praying for you in the name of Jesus. Any spirit that wants to spy upon your liberty because of your wombs that must carry the prophets, the apostles, and those who will herald the move of God even in their young age, we declare those demonic growths live now. Hallelujah. I'm praying for someone. I don't know what it is I'm seeing around your neck here. Very stiffness and severe swelling. The power of God is coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Now, please don't be embarrassed. But how many people here came here trusting God for the fruit of the womb? The fruit of the womb the fruit of the womb now I, I know that there might be several people but I don't know how we're going to do this the Lord has given me an instruction to I don't lay hands carelessly no I don't you don't see me lay hands on people carelessly but if and when God grants the grace to do I understand the power and the value of laying on of hands as a doctrine I don't know please only those no standing for anyone you are, and then you must be married two things make sure you, you can believe what you want to believe but within what we are doing please there's nothing to be embarrassed about are we together so you meet these two conditions you are standing for yourself I want you to come while that is happening quickly please sit down for a minute and I want you to write start writing your prayer request right now Please come and stand quickly. I want to pray for you. Just one minute I'm going to touch you and that will be the end of it. Are you standing for yourself? The devil is a liar. We are praying for them because these are the people bringing the next generation of koinonia. The devil is a liar. For in the sanctuary, God, there is a stillness in the atmosphere. Ah. Oh, come lay down. The burdens you have carried For in the sanctuary I don't know how we are going to do this now Because Make sure you are writing your prayer request The Lord gave me a special instruction On those prayer requests tonight And if you need to call your loved ones And have it down Those falling online Here is your chance to do that quickly Please, no standing in for someone. My dear, look at me. This lady, wait, lifting her hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Jesus! The name of Jesus Christ. Now, please hear me. 
there are so many people and I have to obey what God has said but my God can you imagine how many people you see what the devil is doing to families you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul truly you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul we'll leave it from here as many those who those who are at the door there will just stop there all of us can just stand by faith i don't know how we're going to do it i'm, I'm first going to pray barrenness is a spirit you will soon see it happen Barrenness is not just a case of not taking in. Now I want to pray. Believers, some of you are ministers. Let me teach you how to minister fruitfulness. It's not just about laying hands and saying, no, there is a spirit that is largely behind it. Those of you in front, lift your hands. Let me first cast out that spirit. And then you will be surprised. I'm going to pray and then we'll make it quickly. While that is happening... Please, ushers, you can be passing the prayer request as soon as I pray the prayer request so that we'll, we'll, we'll put it now. Father, in the name of Jesus, every legal access, I speak to these spirits, this is the house of God. Right now, at the count of three, the spirits that are responsible for barrenness, right now, I don't care what gave you legal access. At the count of three, it is time for God's people to be fruitful. One, two three go 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 now go now go now go now go now barrenness go now manifesting as impotency manifesting as the inability to to be with child go now Every legal access the devil has over you, your family, and every covenant that authorizes Satan by the blood of the eternal covenant, be free now. Amen. Hallelujah. Now watch this. Here's what will happen. Just, just stay where you are. While we are collecting the prayer request, I am going to be very, very fast just a touch you don't need to tell me anything just a touch and you go back to your seat rejoicing let there be no chaos i have to obey what god has told me it will be very very fast i don't lay hands carelessly but we'll do this by the spirit in the name of jesus 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 by the power of the holy spirit the name of Jesus the next set please very quickly in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ please as I lay hands on you just be on your way so you clear the way for others in the name of Jesus return back with your miracle by the anointing of the Holy Spirit don't worry as they reduce we'll get more space just be patient in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ we declare that it is done even by the Spirit please in the name of Jesus please once I pray for them let the next set come please in the name of Jesus Christ he touched me Jesus touched me and oh what joy fills my heart something happened now I know he touched, he touched me and
the prayer request very quickly hallelujah let's have the prayer request please very quickly bring it bring it let's hallelujah why do we take the time to pray over these requests because you see this right here you see is the most accurate representation of everyone's desire no matter how we take the time to minister, we're limited in very many ways. Don't get used to submitting your prayer request here. You are not submitting it to a man. You are tabling your request before the Lord. According to Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, it says to be anxious for nothing, but in everything it says, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, it says let your request be made known unto God. Hallelujah. Very quickly, while you are seated, you've been standing. I want you to stretch your hands towards this request. Go ahead. You don't have to stand. Stretch your hands towards this request. And for those who are yet to submit this, just bring it quickly as we pray. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll give you a few seconds. You will be surprised. We have a covenant of answered prayers with the God of heaven. You have seen it for yourself what God is able to do. Quickly, please. When the glory comes, there will be no words to say. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Go ahead and begin to declare by faith. Father, this is October. By November, I'm receiving every answer. Remember, 
the scripture that we read when the glory comes be no words to say Hallelujah. quickly all right give us Joshua 21 45 this is what is happening to you tonight Joshua 21 45 please there fail not ought any of this thing give us amplified let's see if we can have amplified very quickly so we pray I truly believe in the covenant of answered prayer there failed no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel all came to pass all apostle including the job all including the termination of wicked contracts over your family all someone shout all, all. let the devil hear it all, all. For when his glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands. We are still praying. Don't be tired. Your life is about to change. Those outside, make sure you are stretching your hands. Our global family, stretch your hands by faith. Yes, we are changing our Yes, we are changing our May Girma ya change our Serki ya change our Ya kare, ya kare. Ya kare Yesu ya che ya kare Ya kare Ya kare Ya kare Ya kare Ya kare Yesu ya che I'm already praying over this. Yes, we are The long standing issue. Yes, we are The shame and the reproach. Yes, we are It is finished, Jesus said. It is over. What is over? Everything that does not reflect the life and the character of Christ. What is over? Shame. What is over? Delay. What is over? Reproach. What is over? Weeping. What is over? Poverty and lack. What is over? People asking you, where is your God? What is over? The absence of the glory of God in your life. What is over? Terminal diseases. Therefore, I'd like you to begin to sing that song over this prayer request. Declare it as a proclamation. Father, it is over. Reproach. Is someone declaring? Sabarakatos katabrandekebelekatos. I lay these anointed hands upon this request and by the spirit of grace we prophesy it is over 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 by the power of God's grace
the day that I sang this song first on stage here someone sent me a text by the next day he said he took that song he does not even really know how to speak outside it's not even a Nigerian and he said it just came with such an anointing he sang and danced with it for over three hours by the next day by the next day a contract of what maybe in Nigerian Naira will be the equivalent of one billion the very next day something he had been pursuing almost forever Yes, we are Cheya Kare. Yes, we are Cheya Kare. Yes, we are Cheya Kare. Your spirit is calling the things that must come to an end. Shame and reproach. Father fighting mother, mother fighting father, antagonizing you in your place of work, ministry being limited and would not grow. Sing it from Kenya to America to Europe. It's a prophetic word. I decree and declare over this request for someone I stand by the God of heaven if your eyes can see the Sun rise tomorrow you will also hear of the answers of this request I say it again if your eyes can see the rising of the Sun except I be not called of God but may your ears also hear the answers of this listen when prophet Elisha said by this time tomorrow the one who the king leaned on said ah even if God will open the windows of heaven might this happen people speak from the standpoint of the authority given to them by God I told you prophecy does not only reveal prophecy creates let me say it again for someone it will not reach 24 hours my God will surprise you for someone finally the answer comes tomorrow yes we are cheya kare we are wrapping up yes we are cheya every dying ministry yes we are cheya kare every life that has been bent in shame There is a man of God you are watching, you are sitting on your chair, you are watching from Nairobi, you are about to quit ministry because you have done everything you know to be, to do. There are bills. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of the living God. This song, even though you may not be of the Nigerian tongue, but the revelation is clear. It is over and it is finished. Apostle, I have four children. Where will their school fees come from? The song carries the answer. I told you this is a song of deliverance. It's a song that you war with when you have understanding. Hallelujah. Now, let me declare over you. Tokwe Sachs came here and he led us through a powerful moment of worship. Minister Dunsin came here and so powerfully pushed us 
into another realm of worship these things have prophetic implications in the atmosphere of worship the spirit of prophecy is strong i want to speak over your life please i want you to believe in the power of prophetic speakings because we are made by the excellency of the speakings i taught you last week everybody in christ and through spiritual understanding is a prophetic rainmaker i taught you last week rainmakers use divination to manipulate the clouds so that a cloud that is barren and should not have rain they begin to coordinate clouds from regions and gather them in one place and make it come they call them rainmakers and the believer in christ you can use the creative power of god's prophetic speakings to draw forth he said i prophesied as i was commanded and there was a sound don't ask where the sound came from he said speak to the breath the winds all winds from the four regions of the earth blow and come upon this lane There are many of us who are alive but it's like we're dead because everything that makes for living and dignity is dead in your life we're about to prophesy resurrection just a few minutes but you must receive with all your heart koinonia i pray for you as touching the grace that god has given in this prophetic season 10 is a number of a circle coming to an end i decree and prophesy to you by the god of heaven and in the name that is above every other name the rain that has been long overdue let it begin to fall atmosphere shift now chains be broken Prophesy speed to your life. A strange order of speed. Begin to run like Elijah. Begin to overtake the chariots of Ahab. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometime back someone reached me and... I saw his text, I'm so so person. Then I picked, How are you, sir? And he just said, Apostle, I didn't call you for prayer or anything. For three days, God had been speaking to me. And God told me that from today, He wants me to stand and sow this amount of seed to this ministry for as long as my business thrives. I said, What is this? Are you sure you want to? Did you discuss this with your wife? Said, ah, I'm not a child, I'm not a this. This is what God has put in my heart. And when that happened, it was not really what he said that was the testimony. I began to pray and I said, Lord, there is a covenant in this house that whatever flows from the head must go down to every part. Listen, when you go to take your bath, your leg does not struggle to touch the shower. It is patient because it knows by connection. You bath your whole body by standing on one position. I said all that to prophesy to you strangers will call you strangers will reach you strangers will look for you they will tell you they were mandated by God to insist till you rise hallelujah I traveled to a particular nation and I finished preaching went to bed to sleep by the next day I got up and then my host calls me and says apostle you are strange I said what is wrong he said come let me show you something we go out and we get to a place and there is a very very expensive car that was parked and he said a man of God drove with this car and said right here he said give it to apostle I said number one um, how do I carry this car to Nigeria number two um, the way they drive their direction of driving is not 
the same with our own. So what, well, it's none of my business. This is what the man has said. I said, call the man and we try to speak to him. You thought he would be sympathetic and say, okay, I'll come and take it. He said, no, leave it there. It's yours. What is on you is what controls what is around you. I'm saying this because there are many things in our lives that have refused to change. I want to prophesy something to come upon your head. He said, my horn has thou exalted like the head of a, the horn of a unicorn. And I have been anointed with fresh oil. Please hear me, Koinonia. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you the mantle that makes for favor and for lifting. Let it rest on you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. When Minister Dunsin came up, he prayed very powerfully for the grace for intimacy. I want to pray that grace for you. You are lacking seriously spiritually if you have not obtained the grace. He said, blessed is the man that God caused to approach. You are called like the king had to send for people. You don't just come. It's a summon by his grace. But when he calls you to that inner chamber, you will find treasures within the chamber that gives you authority. Even if you are a gatekeeper like Mordecai, the moment you enter the inner chamber of the king, from there you are climbing the king's horse to a life of dignity and honor. Let me speak to someone. In the name of Jesus, may your intimacy with the Holy Spirit, the value that comes from his presence, from his word, from the place of prayer, let it translate to an exceptional life of signs and wonders. Don't be tired. I'm praying. Let me pray over your finances. Please don't say it does not matter. The devil is tying down people and making the matters of finance to interrupt people and not allow people to serve God with integrity and to serve God acceptably. You belong to a family that has been marvelously helped of God. That name Ebenezer is a reality by the message of God. I speak to you in the name of Jesus. By the power that brought the raven to feed Elijah at Brook Cherith, so that he was not without supplies, may supernatural supplies begin to attend to your needs. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare. Whoever has been mandated by God to hold your hands in this season and introduce you to the next season of your life, I compel them by the Spirit to perform their ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. I told you that a generation only hears you because the mantle of honor is upon you, not just because you are valuable. You can be valuable and yet not be heard. He says, thou shalt take Joshua in whom is the spirit. And he says, thou shalt lay your hands upon him. Hallelujah. And then he says, you shall take some of your honor and you shall put upon him so that the congregation would hear him. It takes honor. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. But when that grace is upon you, you will speak and nations will hearken to you. I decree and declare that mantle and that grace for honor, may it rest visibly upon your life. From tonight, I stand by the privilege of God's grace alongside the coordinated grace of all the fathers in this nation that God has granted privilege to receive from. Nothing dies in your hands. Nothing dies in your hands. From today, begin to record unending testimonies. Testimonies in the morning. Testimonies in the afternoon. Testimonies in the night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you have started but has not finished, Receive the finisher's anointing. 
for those of you praying for divine direction to know what God wants you to do for the next season of your life in a dream of the night may my God come with accurate answers for you hear me if there is any Jonah sitting in your boat making you to lose things and you are about to lose your life I throw that Jonah out of the boat in the name of Jesus Christ and everybody who is already in the belly of the fish it looks like it has been concluded about you the same voice that spoke to the fish and informed Jonah out whatever it has swallowed in your life we command it must vomit it now Finally, every point of contact you came here with, your hands as a symbol of your productivity, your documents, whatever it is, I decree and declare, in the name of Jesus Christ, may the grace for favor rest upon them. Now, please hear me. We pray for Abuja. Lord, behold their threatenings, he said, and grant that that signs and wonders be done in the name of your holy son we have a responsibility over this city and over this territory and this nation to responsibly make our spiritual contributions in making for the safety in the name of jesus we release the forces of judgment we command the wind we command the earth in the name of jesus the bible says and the stars fought for deborah we declare by the power of prophecy let the tokens of judgment be released over this city and every conspiracy of darkness that is fighting the purposes of God let it fail permanently now please hear me don't say it does not matter US and UK are not foolish people they will not throw away their reputation just for nothing saying about the threat and the rest but can i tell you before god will come to sodom and gomorrah he came to abraham and abraham said if you find 10 people will you still judge them and god said no i don't know about you but i'm here you can count the rest in the name of jesus christ we stand here as prophetic signposts together with all who name the name of christ and we declare the spirit that sponsors evil we command you are banished from our region <laughs> hallelujah and anyone who has vowed that for as long as he's alive people must die i stand by the mantle of judgment may the earth open and swallow them anybody who is profiting from this wickedness in the name of Jesus I say it again that which they eat will be to their death therefore we release angels the entire six local governments that make up the FCT we release angels and we pray for the neighboring regions, Nasarawa State, Benue State, Plateau State, Kaduna State, Niger State, you are fortified. We pray for the law enforcement agents who labor day and night. May God grant them courage and intelligence. But as for you, I declare, may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means please hear me we pray for everyone connected to this vision the children the spouses the businesses in the name that is above all names and by the mystery of the fourth man in the fire that says those who the fire had no power over there shall be no loss
Please hear me. I want you to walk up around with vigilance, but walk with confidence. Fight fear. Did you hear what I said? Fight fear. Fight fear. I'm not stupid. The first crisis that happened officially in Plateau State, I was in the middle of it. I was somewhere in town. I sp how many years did we spend in Zaria? You know how many crises and troubles I've seen? The person speaking to you is not stupid. And he said, they that are with us are greater. Please, I want you, this fear that is palpable upon people. Now, of course, I know that, you know, wickedness and rage is there, but I am telling you this, do not fear. You fear you will not go about your activities and you will be poor, you will be broke. It's the spirit, it's not just a spirit of terrorism. It's a spirit that bankrupts people and takes away your productivity. Do your due diligence, work with wisdom, but I assure you, do not fear. Everybody who tries evil in this nation will know that there is a real throne that sits. And there is him that sits, jealously protecting the name of the Lord. For who shall say a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? Listen, we are loyal citizens, but we are not fools. There are people who God has granted grace and access. We owe a responsibility to speak prophetically over the peace of the land. It will never be that you went out and then you could not return back to your home because you were in the middle of a crisis. If it will happen, you will not go there. But if you go there, then it will not happen. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise. Wave your hands as a wave offering to Jesus who is the son of the living God. We give thanks. We give thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. All we have declared and all you have received tonight, it is permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Let me make the altar call before we end tonight's service. There is someone here who is saying, Apostle, thank you for all of the mighty things that Jesus has done through you to his people. But my issue right now is that I need Jesus and I need him desperately. And there's someone who is saying, Apostle, I've, I remember giving my heart to Jesus, but sincerely as it is now, things are not yet right in my life. I do not want to leave this service without that encounter. Please, wherever you are, I know that our time is gone, but let me one minute of your time. I want you to leave your seat right now and come. Come and stand here. Don't be ashamed. Don't look around. Be bold and come and stand. There has to be someone. If you are coming, God bless you. God bless you. For someone you are saying, well, I remember giving my heart to Jesus, but as it is, things are not all right. Can I come to rededicate my life? Join them. God bless you. Are you celebrating them, Koinonia? Come. Come. Let him give you a new beginning. It is true that no Jesus, no life. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Keep coming. You can make it right with him right now. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand, all of you who are here, and I'm going to lead you to pray this prayer. If there are those who are still coming or in all the overflows, you can just stay right where you are and pray the prayer very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ, as I pray with you, I want your heart to be open. Jesus is here to receive you and give you a new beginning. Lift your right hand and say after me, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I have seen your power. I believe in you, that you are the Son of God. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my Lord, as my Savior, and as my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I declare from tonight and forever that I am a child of God, washed by the blood of the Lamb. I go forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for these ones. They have come declaring their faith 
and the Bible says as many who will come to him you will in no wise cast away I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that based on the authority of Scripture and by your declaration I declare your sins forgiven the Lord gives you a new beginning from tonight you go from glory to glory and grace to grace may the marvelous hand of God rest upon you you are blessed you remain blessed in Jesus much less name amen and amen God bless you please may I request that you follow the counselors just move to my right which is your left there are counselors there they would honor you and have a word with you very quickly and you'll be back to your seat just appreciate them as they go <clears throat> hallelujah now let me encourage you for next service up until the last miracle service is going to be times of intense prayer encounters and every service is really going to be a miracle service because we are pushing through to see that that which God has ordained for you in this season of marvelous light that it must come strong so make sure your heart is opened make sure that you are you participate in every service with your heart opened and the Lord will bless and honor you and make sure you do the work of an evangelist don't say there are people around there's no space anywhere again no that your assignment is to make sure that as many who are unreached come to Jesus that could be the lifeline for their finding salvation and transformation hallelujah again let me thank all who have come may the Lord bless you and honor you and as we wrap up October into November I declare that that is how a new page in your life and destiny will be opened in Jesus much less name we pray please rise up on your feet and let's close the service thank you for your patience I declare that your week beginning is blessed favor upon favor is what you will experience your prayer life is back to life your word study life is back to life in the name of Jesus Christ your life will be a, a capture of tremendous signs and wonders from Monday to Sunday your life is an unending page full of testimonies may the Lord bless you as you depart you go in peace and you are let forth in joy for in Jesus mighty name I pray together let's share the great intelligence hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching